Hello friends, today we will start with a topic called as classes and objects. See when I talk with classes and objects, basically these things derive from a concept called as object oriented programming system. In short it is called as OOPS concept. So basically when you talk about OOPS concept, OOPS says when you want to do something, you require objects. Let's example, if you want to print something, you require object. If you want to calculate something, you require object. If you want to you know, execute something, you require object. If you want to process something, you require object. If you want to save something, you require object. In, in fact, if you want to process, if you want to retrieve something, you require object. So basically, you, all we, you require is object. And object don't do, uh, think individually. Objects work interrelated. Like two objects communicate with each other. Like uh, some ex some information has this ex this object has some information. This object some has some information. They will share the information. Now basically we talk about object. Object has two things. First is what object knows. Second is what object do. The things like what object knows is variables. Second is what object do is methods. Just like if you want to store number, if you want to store name, if you want to store uh, your uh, personal information you will store in variables that is what object knows if you want to print something if you want to execute something if you want to save something you require methods that is what object do so to store what object knows to do something what object do that means variables and methods so we talk about object objects are created using class that is interdependence you know when you have to create some object you require class and you have to work with some class you require object because you cannot work with class you require its instance so in short you have to create an object of a class if you want to work with something let me explain, explain with an example let's suppose i require a table right a, a small table a wooden table right? So when you talk about table, table are created by uh, or, or made by carpenters. So example, if I want to get uh, some table, I, I have to ask carpenter that I require a table. So he will say yes, I as a carpenter, I create table, so no issue. But the problem is, carpenter will create table, that's no problem. But question arises, how will he create table? He need a design. That means a table is created by carpenter but he will ask me for a design and I have to provide him with a design. In this way, carpenter will create object if I create, uh, if I uh, provide him with a design. That means in Java all we require is object and this object are created by JVM. So no issue. If I want any object JVM will provide me object. You know in this way. I require object. JVM say yes, I will give you object. The only thing is you give me design for which you require object. That means I have to provide a design and design is provided using class. So you can think in this way. You require object to work but to create object you require design and that design is class. So that means if you want something or if you want some object you require a design in this way if you want some if you want object you require class and class is your design in some sense you can say that objects are real instance and class are imaginary parts anything is created using imagination and if you want to work with your imagination you require object so in short if you want object you require class and if you want to work with class you require object and simple terms when you talk about object, object has memory and memory are provided using, you get, uh, provided by JVM. This is class, this is objects. So you have classes, objects, imaginary, real instance. That's it.